Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Fort says, when I first started on the internet, the only places that had storage were universities. Yes, that's the first place I got online, back at the University of Northern Iowa in 1992. In fact, that was before the web was even around. Uh, the first website I remember visiting was uh, Yahoo, but that's when Yahoo still had a tilde in its URL. It was even before it was yahoo.com. Yeah, I'm, I guess I'm that old in internet years. I don't know how internet years translate into human years. Anyway, the question was asked by uh, one of our community members here at live.perillo.com. Uh, Lynn asks, can you please explain about the difference between .com, .net, etc., and what is buying a domain? Well, when we talk about uh, buying a domain or domain names, uh, this is typically synonymous with a website. So, for instance, when I say live.perillo.com, perillo.com is a domain name. I registered the domain perillo.com years and years and years and years ago and now can use it to uh, point people to websites that I may build or people on my team may build or uh, you know anything I happen to point to on perillo.com. Now, in terms of buying a domain, I actually purchased perillo.com when it was uh, still $70 a year. Uh, there was only one registrar, it was Internet. And now, of course, there are plenty of places where you can buy a domain name, including from one of our sponsors, GoDaddy.com. If you use the coupon code Chris1, Chris2, Chris3, or BLAF, and hopefully someone will, will type them in. Network Solutions for the win. No, not for the win. They were anything but great. Um, <laughs> Anyway, uh, I, I'm, I'm, you're bringing up nightmares from the time that I had to fork up s so much money just to buy a, a simple domain that's lasted me uh, 10 years. I've had LockerGnome.com for 10 years, Perillo.com for not as long. But anyway, that's what buying a domain name is or what it's all about. Um, GoDaddy coupon code mentioned that. Okay, so now the difference between .com, .net, .gov, .edu, .org, um, the list goes on and on. Let's see here. Dot com stands for dot commercial, and the idea was um, when they were thinking about these top level domains, or like dot com, dot net, dot org, etc. Um, they wanted any commercial efforts and ventures to to register dot com domains. Uh, dot net was uh, relegated for networks of sorts. Uh, .org for organizations, and for the most part, .org is still widely used, especially by nonprofit organizations. Um, .gov for government institutions, .edu for educational institutions. Um, the, the list kind of goes on and on. And of course, we've gained more TLDs or top-level domains uh, over time, including .tv, Ustream, uh, TV. Uh, I haven't registered any .tv. Well, actually, undo.tv. I guess I did register that for that little project. Um, so, th th you know, buying a domain, the difference between all these uh, .coms and .edus and .govs, uh, for the average person, all they're really going to be concerned about are .com. If you can get the .com, great. If you can't, sorry, not much I can do about it. .net is a substitute. Uh, .org certainly uh, is almost just as good. The problem is, is that most people automatically think website .com. Even if I told you, go over to whitehouse.gov, you would think, I'm just going to go to whitehouse.com, and which up until recently was serving up a not safe for work website that would freak out little kitties who thought they would be going to uh, a website for you know learning about our where our president lives, uh, but in fact they would be redirected because uh, someone purchased whitehouse.com, and whitehouse.com is different from whitehouse.gov as you may have learned in the past. However, I think he's changed his ways and made it a little easier uh, for people not to be uh, tricked into coming into his website. And I'm sure he made millions of dollars off of ads that were clicked on by accident uh, because it wasn't exactly a <clears throat> kid-friendly website, whitehouse.com. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's kind of the bottom line. You can register anything that's not already registered. Uh, I always, like I said, I always shoot for the .com. Um, there are other top uh, level domains. TLDs are just as well, or just as good, I should say, uh, to register. Um, .tk is free. Oh, I didn't know that. That's kind of cool. Um, I don't know. Uh, what was the first website you registered? And uh, how much did it cost you? 
And then I guess no. Here's the, here's the bigger question: How many domain names do you own? I mean, I used to own dozens, if not hundreds, and then just decided to let them all lapse and like forget it. You know, I only need a few. Uh, what about you? Are you hooked on buying domains? Uh, you know, if, if you are, great. If not, it's no big deal. Maybe you should start uh, a new collection. Just start uh, coming up with random domain names, and maybe you can make some money. Some people make a handsome profit off of registering domain names and then turning around and selling them. Anyway, uh, looking forward to hearing from you. We're always live at live.perillo.com. That's one of my domains.